It was about seven years ago that Hawa last saw her son, Adamo. He was schooling in Michika when Boko Haram attacked the town and she lost contact, not knowing if he was dead or alive. He was staying with his uncle while schooling in Minchika. After the attack, we did not hear about him again, and I kept worrying about him. Years later, Hawa sits at the International Red Cross office in Meduguri, and she weeps. They are tears of joy. She will soon see her son again. Hawa is one of many people the International Red Cross is helping reunite with their family members. Marcus Usman is the field officer for the Red Cross Restoring Family Links Unit. He says the process of establishing connections between separated persons in different IDP camps across the Northeast can be complex, long and slow. Sometimes we meet them in the camps for the displaced persons. We take details of those people they are looking for. Sometimes parents looking for their children, sometimes children looking for their parents. And then based on the information they feed us with, we try in the area where they thought or where they feel their, their relatives or the family members are, are accessible for us. Then we try to go to such areas. If we are lucky enough or fortunate to meet the person we're looking for, we try first to restore contact by collecting what we call a Red Cross message. Outside the office, a car comes to a stop and Hawa's long lost son emerges. It's a tearful reunion between mother and son. When I was told my son had been found, I felt like I had a new child. I kept telling all my friends and the soldiers around that my son was okay and I'll see him soon. The Red Cross says restoring family links is an important part of helping victims of terrorism. But not all searches end with a happy reunion like that of Hawa and Adamo. Once we discover the person is no longer alive, we have the responsibility of giving the family feedback that this is the situation. It's very important, we call it clarifying the fate of the missing. There is still a long waiting list of people trying to reconnect across the Northeast. They continue to fill the Red Cross message forms with hopes of seeing their loved ones again, if they are still alive. This year ends on a great note for Hawa and her son, Adamo. But the long, anxious wait continues for hundreds of other families, parents and children separated by years of the Boko Haram conflict. Ngusu Uji, AIT News, Meduguri.